everyone, I want to just clarify a few simple skincare basics. Now, these are the questions that I have every day with colleagues and clients and friends. Just say that again, Caroline, so vitamin C in the morning, and then I have a retinol, and then when do I use this? And there is quite a lot of confusion, understandably out there, because there are so many products. I find it um, exhausting trying to keep up with everything and you can't keep testing and trialing and testing and trialing and mixing because you're going to cause a reaction in your skin. So it's also quite a slow process going through the products that are actually going to work and what products are worth spending your money on. So the simplest way to approach this is um, something that I learned from a brilliant skincare range um, called Medicate. Um, they're based in, up in Elstree, just in North London. And they said that this formula is the simplest way to the best skin you can ever have. C-S-A. You remember that, then you'll have the best skin. C, vitamin C in the morning, SPF, followed by vitamin A, which you will know as retinol. It's a form of vitamin A. So C-S-A. So if you use your vitamin C in the morning, every day, use your SPF, whether you're indoors because it comes through glass, you don't have to be sunbathing just to put an SPF on, just keep an SPF on every day, and then your retinol at night. You will be able to have the best skin possible by using those products. So this is not going to give you a flawless, poreless complexion overnight, not at all, but it's going to give your skin the best chance of being as bright and as clear and as hydrated and as protect and as renewed as possible. So I just wanted to kind of pass that information on to you because I was at a launch at Medicaid and I thought, yes, that's really simple and that's really straightforward. Of course, there's many add-ons that you can do, but if you cleanse your face in the morning and then use a vitamin C. So why a vitamin C? Vitamin C is an antioxidant, okay? so environmental factors within our world oxidize our skin cells and vitamin C is an antioxidant and in very simple terms that means it protects our skin. Vitamin C is a really important ingredient in protecting the function of collagen. Collagen is something that decreases in our skin as we get older so we want to really make sure that, that collagen production is pumping its hardest to make sure that our skin looks as fresh and as healthy as possible. Now, the thing about vitamin C is that you can buy it in many different forms of packaging, but you must make sure that it isn't exposed to oxygen because once you've opened a droplet or maybe like a squeezy tube of vitamin C, once the air gets in, it stops working. This is why if you buy vitamin C in a capsule form like this, every time you break it out like this, it is at its full potency. And that's the biggest tip that I can give you with vitamin C to make sure you're not wasting any of your money. Now I've tried lots and lots of vitamin Cs. Um, these are my current favorites. And the Beauty Pie one is actually new for me. It is so soft and lovely and it does contain a bit of silicon in but it doesn't peel under my makeup. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which is a lovely product that really keeps your skin hydrated throughout the day. And um, lots of microsphere peptides. Peptides obviously is a great anti-aging product that you've probably heard of. It's been around for a while, as has hyaluronic to be fair, but it hasn't really been marketed and exposed the way that it is now. So these are really, really beautiful. You wash your face, you put on one of your vitamin C capsules. This is Exuvians. These are slightly more expensive and this, these are 20%. Now 20% is actually quite a high percentage of vitamin C, but I've had no reaction to this at all. I've used other brands at a lower percentage and I've had a terrible rash up my neck and I haven't been able to use any ingredients um, on it apart from hydrators for at least sort of three to five days. It's been really annoying. But this has been great for my sensitive, reactive skin to vitamin C. And bearing in mind, I've used a lot of products of my skin. I've had acne for many years. I do a lot to my skin. I consider it to be quite tough, but it does get quite irritated. Another vitamin C that I love, which is another great price bond. By the way, this is about 50 pounds, and I believe these just over 10 pounds. So, you know, great price point. Um, this one by Garden of Wisdom is a new brand that I'm just discovering. 
Now this has a huge amount, again, of vitamin C, 23%, but it's also got the other wonderful acid, another amazing, very potent antioxidant called ferulic acid. Now, if there are any skin suitable lovers out there, you'll recognize this combination. I've only been using this for the past week. I've had no sensitivity to it at all. It's really beautiful under makeup. You can put your moisturizer if you need. Sometimes you don't even need to put your moisturizer on if your skin feels great. But if you want extra hydration, put your moisturizer on and then you have to go for your SPF. Now, um, one other thing I wanted to say, it's great for when you're traveling with these capsules as well, because you can just chuck a few in a little bag um, for how many days you're away. Um, and I just think the capsule things are brilliant with active ingredients. Right, so next is the SPF drama. <laughs> I say drama because a lot of people would just think, well, you know, do I use the same SPF on my underneath my makeup that I do when I'm sunbathing? I just think you just have to get used to putting on an SPF. Now there are two, possibly three main forms of SPF, mineral and a chemical, which a lot of companies now are saying non-mineral, just to confuse you, because I think they think saying chemical scares consumers. Um, they're also a mix of the two. Anyway, I'm introducing you to these two products. Now, this is a new product from Dr. Sam Bunting. She's a fabulous dermatologist um, based in London, and she's just brought out her new skincare range gradually over the last year. She has a moisturizer and a cleanser, and this is her much anticipated sunscreen. Her products are very clean. Her products deliver on what they need to do without irritating the skin. Dr. Sam has worked with lots of people and clients of mine, in fact, that have had really bad issues with their skin. And her philosophy is all about non-toxic, not irritating products, just products that can deliver without overloading the skin. Now, this is an SPF 50. She suggests that you use two squirts to cover your whole face, which is actually quite a lot. I've got a little bit of makeup on, so I'm not going to show you. Initially, when you put this on your skin, you will get a slight white cast. But don't worry, it disappears within about 10 seconds. I've used my flash camera under makeup, taken a picture of myself and it doesn't leave a white cast. This is a great SPF for people who have sensitivity to any SPFs. Um, most people who do react to SPFs choose a mineral over a chemical one. It's a really, really good price point. It's very affordable. It will protect your skin. Um, and it contains niacinamide. So it's really, really healing on the skin as well. Um, and it feels almost, almost like a, an SPF with a serum. It's very pleasurable to apply. So that's Dr. Sam. Next um, is Kula. Um, this is an American brand. Um, this is, it says it's got, it's an organic sun care, which means some of the ingredients within this are organic and it's about 70% organic. Um, not not complete whatsoever. It is super lightweight, so it's great under makeup, as does Sam's, but it's a slightly lighter formula. And again, because it's got a lot of plant um, ingredients in there, people with sensitive skin um, who want to use a chemical one, um, chemical ones tend to last a little bit longer, so if you're doing a lot of sports or you're outside, or it's a little bit more water resistant, um, have rated this very high, and again, it's SPF 50. But there's no right or wrong with SPF. The most important thing is you put it on. People have no reaction and don't mind which type of SPF they use. Some people have awful issues trying to find what it is in their SPF that's giving them, um, whether it's a, a heat rash, prickly heat, or congested skin. It's quite a process for some people, but these are two products that I can highly recommend. So then you come to wash your face at night and then you want to go in and use a retinol. Now, if you've never used a retinol before, you need to start at the lowest grade. And this is where Medicate, the brand that I spoke about initially, and I've spoken about many of their products throughout my films, a brilliant app. Because if you go on their website, you can start with the most basic retinol. It's a professional strength that'll be used in the clinic. So you'll be able to use a little pipette like this, um, and you'll be able to apply it to your skin, just tap it on your skin, and I would start three times a week, and then I build up. If you've got no reaction, just carry on and build up your skin until it gets a great intolerance, and then you can go higher and higher and higher. The great thing about Medicaid's retinols is that they don't cause any irritation at all. I haven't been irritated by any of the retinols. So that's no redness, 
that's no peeling, that's no dry skin. So with some vitamin A treatments and retinol treatments, you can get a lot of peeling and a lot of redness. And if you're trying to do a very deep peel to your skin, then I totally understand that. But for everyday skin renewal, these products are brilliant. Now I've talked about our Retino 8 before and it's been in a white packaging. This is their new one um, and it's called the Intense. Our Retino 8 was the first retinol that I used that you can actually use in the morning as well. It's not sun sensitive. That's why you'd only use retinol at night time because it reacts to sunlight. But you can actually use the white one morning and evening, not this one. Sorry if I'm confusing you because this is meant to be a very straightforward film about CSA. Um, but hopefully I'm not bamboozling you with too much information. This product is all you need at night. So it's your moisturiser, it's your hyaluronic and it's your retinol. This has to be introduced three times a week, then four times a week, then five times a week. I love it. This is brilliant. It is expensive, it's very expensive, just over 200 pounds. Um, but for any skincare um, warriors out there who need and have incredibly lazy skin like mine, and that's where you want to invest your money, if you want to invest your money in an amazing retinol that you can use at home, this is where I would be going. It's a brilliant brand. They've spent about five years coming up with this formula and um, it's well worth the money. If you can see the difference in your skin and the pigmentation lightens, the texture of your skin brightens and the firmness of your skin gets a little bit more plump, then for those who feel that it's worth it and want to spend their money, in that way then great it's a big tick from me so just to be concise at the end vitamin c in the morning vitamin c is an antioxidant it will protect your skin it will brighten your skin it's not going to remove lots and lots of pigmentation but it will definitely make your skin appear like it's been through a hot wash and it's protecting him from any environmental damage spf protecting you from uva and uvb burning rays Lastly, at night, retinol, helping your cells renew, 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 so you don't get that stagnant, dry, dull looking skin. Well, I hope you found that insightful. For the people that I speak to, skincare is a massive confusion. So if you just introduce a vitamin C in the morning and a retinol at night, it doesn't have to be expensive. It still can work and it will still make a difference. Let me know whether you do try this. Let me know whether you do add something like this into your routine, the morning and the evening and protection. And in three weeks, you look at your skin and go, do you know what? It was definitely worth making the investment and changing my routine slightly. And I'm glad I did. Please let me know because then it makes it all worthwhile. Anyway, thank you very much. And if you're not, please subscribe.